Scary things don't just hop or crawl, they fly. But honestly, there really ain't much to be scared about with our next cave dwelling mobs on the list, Batalisks. When down under, you'll be stumbling upon these bat caves within the stalagmite biome. But wait, I thought the stalagmite biome was where the creepy crawlies were. Correct, but there's actually two stalagmite biomes, and the one with taller, skinnier ones are where we will find the bats. And bats are some of the easiest mobs to fight in-game, as they love to circle their target and attack but one or two at a time. And they even tell you when they're coming with a loud screech. They will do the exact same thing above ground too after emerging from the sinkhole. So if you wish, you can just wait right by an open one and kill whatever comes out of it before it even has a chance to nip you in the butt. But come on now, this is Don't Starve here. There's always a way to make something else do the work for you. So why not enlist the help of our recently befriended bunny men? They both come out at dusk and night, so it's perfect. But let's talk loot. Bats can drop guano, a piece of monster meat, one of their wings, or nothing at all. But since they are abundant and easy to kill, the loot will be easy to come by. Let's discuss what it can do for you. Take guano for example. When compared to basic manure, guano is one and a half times more effective as a fertilizer, meaning more foodies more quickly. And it is very easy to come by, as bats will drop some upon death or just occasionally when flapping about. Furthermore, Feeding a bird seeds has a 33% chance of netting you guano, which means even more production. Hooray for poop. Oh, and oddly, guano's gas cloud when being used as a fuel source originates from the bottom in comparison to manure, which forms at the top. Why am I telling you this? I have no idea. But enough poop talk, let's discuss wings. With a handful of battlesk wings and magical crafting material, you can create what is called a Bat-Bat, a rather unique piece of hardware. Plus, one of the cooler looking items in all of Don't Starve. But is it any good? Well, that's debatable. But note my health and sanity as I continue this fight. The weapon leeches 6.8 health per hit, but subsequently drains the wielder sanity by 3.4, that is, if your health isn't already full. It does deal a respectable 42.5 damage, but this weapon isn't meant for big engagements. It's meant for small mobs with little health, like hounds, or spiders, or heck, even non-hostiles like Chester. You just use this weapon sparingly. That's how you make it efficient. But in the end, it's just not that great, unfortunately. But what is fortunate is bat wings can actually make decent and easy to come by food items. Because when you hang them up to dry, they don't become dried monster meat. They become small jerky. And even though a loss of about 10 sanity is nothing really, Cooking up a wing saves you from that negative, while providing a respectable 20 hunger per wing. That is actually really not bad for something that can be so abundant. So I guess I'm serving up bats for dinner from now on. But there you have it everyone, yet another swift look at a cave mob and don't starve together. There's only a couple more, so expect them soon. For now, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.